think from the very beginning, going back to the first community meeting last January, actually it was February 6th, I was reminded of when we were here for the, the, the large community meeting. We spoke at that meeting about all of the components of what a sanctuary would include. And it has always included an education center. In response to the community, we said, okay, let's not have that community center, that education center on the site. We have also always talked about the desire to create an opportunity for children in limited numbers or people to have visitation sites where we could do that. Ways we talked when I was here last, boat tours that could come into the area and do it as well. And so all of those are components of what this could be. Obviously we need to get staff to the center and we need to do it through the road and we need to have a way to do that. And so, so what we've outlined in the slide today that is certainly a change is not so much of a change as an attempt to demonstrate ways we can work with the community to try to provide responses so that what we're doing is as compatible as possible with your day-to-day -day lives. Now there's no question that a project like this brings change. It, it is something new. It can't have no impact. It has some impact. So the, the question before the whole group and certainly about particularly those who are most impacted by it, is, is there value to it that warrants that impact? No. Because, and I, and I, no. I hear that. And so, I mean, it's not, we're not deaf. We do understand that we're hearing that. And that's really what we as a, a team here have to evaluate is whether we think we can proceed under those kinds of circumstances, and that's why this dialogue, contentious as it may be, raucous as it may be, is important. So please understand, we appreciate what you're saying. No matter how it comes across, it's valuable, and we thank you. Go ahead, Alex. My name is Juan Bluger, and I am a resident of Bluegrass Road in Marshallville. And no, I do not want the whales in my backyard. So I we have two letters here from neighbors who couldn't be here with us this evening, who both oppose having a sanctuary. But the biggest concern to me is how everybody's going on about dividing the community and so on. When you have one of your committee members, my neighbor, Stephen Mil Mildenberger, who took out this letter, decided to send it all to the community, and. Part of his letter states, the decision for the sanctuary will go on, go, will go one of two ways, yes or no. There is no in between. The sanctuary, unlike other, some other economic activities, does not threaten the quality of the ocean. It does not in any way threaten the future of the fishing industry. If the decision is no, this is the good part, those opposing it may feel momentarily that they have won. There's no winners or losers here, sorry. However, they and their children, which is now being directed to me directly and everybody else who lives there, will be viewed by the larger community for the next 50 years as the naysayers who block the only major, major opportunity for clean, non-polluting, non-threatening economic progress in the community has, to, has offered in many decades. That position will be strengthened as another community grows and flourishes with the sanctuary benefits. If that is really the position in which we wish to place ourselves, yes, Steve, wherever you're at, I yes. I am here, and I should tell you, I did not send that out to anybody. It was put on our Facebook page. I don't care there. where it was sent. It was in right It's in writing. It's in writing. We don't want it. Don't point fingers and tell me that my kids and stuff are going to get pointed at for the next 50 years. You're from not even from here. Go back to where you came from because we want much from the way it is.
Uh, my name is Matthew Hoke, I'm a grade 12 student. At the, end, at the end of this year, I'll be moving off, going off the coast to university, whatever. I'll be studying neuroscience and engineering, not that you care. Um, this whale sanctuary intrigues me to the point where I might be thinking of coming back to the Mushaboom, Chi Harbor area. Um, and it intrigues a lot of other people too. And not just the kids in our school, it intrigues people around the world and might even entice them to come live here, come work here. Uh, there's not, not a lot of jobs. I know to everyone here, 20 might not seem enough. Uh, that would be provided by the Wales Sanctuary. But it won't just be bringing one, two people, or 20 people, bring their families. Like I hope, if I go off and start a family, study what I want to study, come, maybe come back here, bring wife, two kids, settle down. I don't know, that's, that's some years down the road. Think about that later. But anyways, what I mean is, people want to come down and live here, and due to that, I hope that the community that raised me uh, can get such, a, such an opportunity. Um, I already mentioned that World Water Recognition might do something for tourism. Uh, I grew up in a big bed and breakfast, so I saw a lot of people from around the world, uh, you know, Germans, uh, French people, English. They come around here, and we always offer them like kayaks and canoes for them to go around the islands, take a view. And they enjoyed it. They loved it. It's a beautiful place. But I don't know, maybe the whales or another attraction might entice them to come directly to Malagash area more, which is area. Um, what else? I have a second point. Let me ask you. Um, I know a lot of the people who are against it are people who are directly negatively affected by it, and a lot of people who are uh, for it are the ones who are indirectly or more positively affected by it, um, like people who don't live in the Malagash area. And I read in a letter last night that even though uh, people might be, you know, uh, taken down a notch, maybe financially, maybe they lose a job, maybe there's some of the traps get uh, misplaced, uh, not misplaced, uh, displaced because of the location of the sanctuary. But it's something that the community, if this goes through, will be forever grateful for that. I mean, the people who are for this, if this does through, cannot forget the sacrifices made by the community, uh, the Malagash community, if this does go through. I just wanted to put that up there. Thanks.